Tonight, um, we will have, we will leave this meeting with one of two names. There are only two options. So for people who have been told something different, I'm sorry that you got this information. We can either vote yes or no on this ordinance. Yes, our name will be Renaissance. No, our name will be the city of South Fulton. Some other things to consider is that in two weeks, we're bringing over fire and police. I'm saying fire and police. I know some people think that police are coming over in March, but whatever name we put on the police cars, on the fire trucks, we have to put on the police cars. And it's very important to know that on February 26, when we are slated to bring over fire, we have to take Fulton County's name off of everything. Uh, that's not just the decals, that's the uniforms for 170 uh, fire officers. And they don't just get one uniform, they get a set of four. Um, they have to be flame retardant. They're the badges. Uh, they're the signs on the buildings. So all of those things, this name change will likely cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, we, because we were rushed back in September when we moved uh, code enforcement, we spent $5,000 on stickers for 18 trucks. Uh, this time, we will have uh, we will have roughly uh, 10 <coughs> engines and two ladder trucks, 160 to 170 officers, eight fire stations, 170 badges, 170 uniforms times four, plus the turnout gear. That's the uh, the stuff that you know the overalls they wear. Personally, I don't. It could be Adidas. I mean, if you come to get me out of a burning building, I don't care what the name is. But the law says that we have to we have to have these things. And we have to start ordering them real soon. We have the holidays coming up. After the holidays, we have about six weeks. Anybody who has ever ordered uniforms or knows anything about ordering knows that you can wait to the last minute, but you're gonna pay through the notice. Um, so one of two names, we're probably gonna have to put in orders to put on our trucks and uniforms, either South Fulton or Renaissance. Personally, I was a fan of Renaissance. I also, I think I'm probably the only person on council here who voted for South Fulton when we had our three rounds of voting because it was the most popular name um, across most of our districts. Uh, it was the number one name. And uh, we do have another option. I've heard people talk about this, doing this election in May. We can do that. That will also, that will be at a cost to us, to the taxpayers. We will have to pay for that election. Uh, you should know that every month we spend, and, then, and I'm giving a lot of this information out because I see a lot of new people who haven't been to these meetings before. Every month we spend $4.7 million. We, we send Fulton County $4.7 million. We collect about $1.5 million in sales taxes. We send Fulton County $5 million to run our police with these hour long response times, to run our parks, mine, which has no staff, and they find bodies in every, you know, every few years. Uh, so delaying that, we will continue to pay that. We will also continue to rack up charges for unpaid leave. When Fulton County employees come over to the city of South Fulton, all of their unpaid sick days and unpaid, all of that time, we have to buy that out. That doesn't transfer over. So every month we delay, we're racking those things up. Um, so we have we have two options. We could actually. We could actually just pay for the name change twice. We could change the name now, bring the departments over, um, and then have an election and pay for a second name change in our separate fiscal year. Uh, that would be really expensive, and I think we all know that we have some financial challenges. I'm bringing all of this up because uh, one of our criticisms earlier on in this process is that we weren't focused on the transition, that we needed to be focused on the transition. So I am laser focused on the transition right now. Um, that that timeline is that timeline is just is just critically important and so those are the other factors that we have to think of. Uh, in addition to fire police we also have sanitation. You should know that by law to be a city we are required to have certain services. We have brought over none of the services in eight months that we are required by law to have. So at some point we need to do that uh, because we are there. There are legal ramifications for not doing that. So I just wanted to make sure that everybody was clear about all of the other factors that are coming to play when we're thinking about this name and the expenses. We need to be getting bids from at least three vendors so that we don't pay through the nose again for decals. We need to get those same bids for uh, uniforms.
badges, stationary. When you get a letter, you can't say Fulton County Police Department can't come in a Fulton County Police Department envelope. Uh, signs, we need all of those things. And so we need to be thinking about the prices of all of those things, all of which we have not heard yet. We have not heard what the actual sticker price will be for this name change. And we also have not heard the timeline that is required um, for people to provide these things. We'll have to send a proof. We have to pick out a seal. We have to pick out a name. We have to send a, a design to them. They have to send a proof back to us. We have to approve that. Then they have to print off and produce all of these things and have them delivered by February 22nd. We can't send a fire truck out on February 22nd with we'll Fulton County Fire on it. Uh, so those are things that we need to uh, really, really, really be thinking about while we are debating this.